Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my favorites video for January and February of 2019. I know I'm a bit late to this. I, I tried to get this up during like the first week of the next month, but I totally forgot about it. It just, poof, huh, went to the back of my mind. Um, if you haven't seen my favorites videos in the past, normally what I like to do is not do them every month. I tend to do them every two or three months because these videos, I really want to show you guys products that are my favorites. And I'm not just throwing things into a monthly video to have a video. These are products that I've been consistently using over the past couple of months that are really my favorites. Like, <laughs> I feel like, unfortunately, in the beauty community, favorites videos became this thing where it was easy to throw in, like, a sneaky sponsorship or it was easy to do this. And we never really got back to, like, a genuine favorites video. So... That's what I'm trying to do here on my channel. I have four makeup products and one hair care product to tell you guys about today. So let's go ahead and jump right in to my first favorite product, which is a BB cream from Wet n Wild. I adore this thing. This is the Wet n Wild Pump Makeup Locker 3-in-1 BB Cream. If you missed the video where I said I duped my favorite luxury foundation, this is the product that duped it. It is... Like it says, it's a BB cream and it has the actual product. I actually cut off the, I used to have a spatula in here. I don't like the spatula. So I cut that out and I have the product down there. And then in the lid, you actually have a color corrector and a highlighter. I will say I don't really use that highlighter because it is like a cream highlighter. I don't tend to go for cream highlighters, but I really do like this color corrector. It works very well under my eyes. So I do have some dark bags, like eye baggage. I think it's cute that they give you like this little mirror in here. It's kind of like foggy, but it's a cute idea. Like the, um, the way they advertise this is like, this is supposed to go with you to the gym. Uh, whenever I work out, I just don't wear anything, but I do love this BB cream. If you want to see like a side-by-side -side comparison, a full day wear test, I'll link my comparison video up in the cards because this really did dupe an $80 foundation for me. And I'm very happy that I found it because this is like an eight or nine dollars. It's amazing. I've already bought three more. I actually went to the Wet n Wild website and bought three more. So this has been a consistent favorite and I really hope it, it's a permanent item because I will be very sad. I tried tweeting Wet n Wild to ask them and I never got a response. So I don't know if it's permanent. <laughs> The next product that I'm going to talk about is a lipstick from Fenty. This is the Fenty Lip Stunna in the shade Unbutton. And this has just been my go-to nude lipstick for the past few months. Not even just January and February. Like, whenever I just need a nude lipstick, something I know is going to look awesome all day and something I know looks great on me, this. I've been using this more than any other lipstick in my collection. It looks amazing. It stays in place. It feels super comfortable. Like, I don't even feel like I'm wearing a lipstick. I really do love this. It's a great shade on me. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing Rebel Rose, one of my other favorites. But, I mean, if you've been with this channel any length of time, you know how much I love Rebel Rose. But that is the shade. It's not too deep of a nude for me. It's like the perfect mid-toned neutral nude lipstick shade and it's an amazing formula and i've just been reaching for it this has lived in my purse just so i can have it with me all the time i adore this i adore all of the fenty like lip stunner shades i haven't picked up any of like the newer ones yet i have the original five so like this one the red the mauve the black and the brown i have all of those they're like on display right over there but I really do want to pick up more of them because I really do think like Fenty's claim to fame. Like if you don't do, if you don't try anything else in the Fenty line, try the lipsticks. They're incredible. And I keep going back to them time and time and time and time again, despite the fact that I have a huge lipstick collection. My next favorite product for this video is a concealer. And this is the Conceal and Define Super Size version from Makeup Revolution. This was, like, I think the first really good affordable concealer I found. They have an incredible shade range, and this concealer is just full coverage. It doesn't crease too bad. It lasts all day. Like, this was my, like, holy grail affordable concealer when I first found it. I have found some other great affordable concealers. 
but I still come back to this one. After <laughs> testing out some other concealers that didn't work too well for me, I was so happy to go back to this one and realize why I loved it so much. It's such a good concealer. So I have shade C6 is what I use under my eyes to lighten and brighten. That's what I'm wearing today. I also, if I want to spot conceal, I also have the shade C5, which is what I can use to spot conceal if I need to, or, you know, add a little bit of extra coverage to a foundation. But these are incredible. I love the formula. I've been using this for months and months, and just recently I've gone back to it. And I remembered why I fell in love with it in the first place. My last favorite makeup product is actually a clear brow gel, and this is from NYX. This is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I have been on a personal quest to find an affordable brow gel ever since I fell in love with the ABH brow gel, which is like my holy grail brow gel. It's expensive though. It's expensive. So I've been testing out a whole bunch of clear brow gels over the past few months and I remember trying this one out and then buying a few more and so I kind of just put this away in my drawer. Just recently I pulled it back into my everyday makeup drawer and it shocked me. It's a great brow gel. It keeps everything in place. I, I'm very hairy. My hairs are curly. I don't know if you could tell. But my eyebrow hairs too. Like they tend to like curl and they can get a bit rowdy. So this holds everything in place. It holds the brow product that I'm wearing in place because I've seen other clear brow gels where it just mushes around your brow product and like gets outside the lines and you look nuts. This holds everything in place and is, it does an awesome job and I can't believe I forgot or just didn't go back to using this for so long because it's such a great brow gel. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this because I'm pretty sure like it's almost empty at this point but I'm gonna finish using this up and I'm probably gonna go buy two more. This is good. And my last product, my hair care product, is a conditioning creamy hair lotion from Cantu. If you guys have seen any of my other like hair journey videos, I should make a whole playlist. I'll probably make a playlist before this video goes up and throw it up in the cards if you want to see any of my hair related videos. I used to blow dry and straighten my hair practically daily. Um, and within the last year, I've gone on a journey to embrace my natural hair and follow the curly girl method, and it's been treating me fairly well. During that journey, I have found products that work really well for me. They're from Diva Curl. The only thing is Diva Curl is expensive. So I've been on a journey trying to dupe these products, and I was able to dupe the like curl conditioning cream that works so well for me from Diva Curl, and I was able to dupe it with this product. And this product works better on my hair than the Diva Curl Rum. Yes, so what I do, I, I should film another updated curl routine. I did have a request for that. So that'll happen at some point in the future, but what I like to do is after I wash and condition my hair, the way I style it, I will scrunch in a leave-in treatment, a leave-in conditioner, and then I will rake through my hair in sections with this curl conditioner and then after I do that I finger curl with a gel and that gives me the best hair. So I used to like use the Diva Curl, I'll, I'll say the Diva Curl version of this is expensive. It's like $25 and it's I think it was less than eight ounces, I think it was eight ounces of product and I was going through it so fast and it was expensive and I couldn't keep doing it. This is 12 fluid ounces of product and it's $8.99. This is my new holy grail. I love this. So when I purchased it, there was actually a sale at Target. So I got two of these for like the price of one or one and a half. It was, it was incredible. And it's been working better for me than the Diva Curl one. So I love this product. I use it whenever I wash and or style my hair. Uh, I'm so happy I was able to find it. So one down. I now only have to dupe the gel that I really like and the leave-in treatment that I really like. We're getting there. We're getting there. So those are my favorites for January and February of 2019. Let me know down below what your favorites have been and if you like this format of doing it more spread out so that I really am only talking about like my true, true favorites. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.